normal savings bank account being up, opened by persons, households in city, urban areas and all. Now, Reserve Bank has advised a basic savings bank account should be opened for the economically poor people. Actually, this account is called a basic savings bank deposit account, BSBD. This account was earlier called no frill account. When the government of India wanted financial inclusion, that is the poor people should also come into the bank, the Reserve Bank of India advised banks to open no frill account for them. Then Reserve Bank of India has changed the name. The name no frill account, according to Reserve Bank of India, is associated with some kind of stigma because it was opened only for poor people. And anybody who is having a no frill account will be considered as a poor person. So it is attached with some kind of stigma. Therefore, they have renamed this as BSBD and is applicable to all, not only for poor people. So they may ask this question, what is the old name of, no frill account, of BSBD account? The answer is no frill account. They may ask this account, why, how the no frill account is renamed by Reserve Bank of India? It is BSBD, Basic Savings Bank Deposit Account. This question may be asked, so uh, uh, you can answer it very easily. Because it is the no frill account uh, which are now renamed by Reserve Bank of India as Basic Savings Bank Account to ensure that no stigma is attached. Now, just now we saw the villain of minimum balance. Now, Reserve Bank of India has very categorically told no minimum balance requirement because this is going to be opened essentially for poor people. Then no limit on the number of deposits that can be made in a month. But they have limited the number of withdrawals. There is only maximum of four withdrawals in a month which is free. If the customer holds, if the account holder comes and makes the fifth withdrawal, it is for the bank to charge some amount whatever they decide. The facility of ATM card or debit card should also be provided. Free of cost, no charging. And again, no charge will be levied for non-operation or activation of inoperative account. Sometimes, you know, banks charge for activation. Suppose an account remains inoperative for two years and then it is activated, they will charge for activation. No such charge shall be charged in a basic savings bank deposit account. This account must be opened by all banks, private sector bank, foreign banks, um, public sector banks, all banks should open this account. There is no uh, exemption given. And these rules apply to all the BSBD accounts in all the banks. An individual is eligible to have only one basic savings bank account in one bank. And holders of basic savings bank account, deposit account, will not be eligible for opening any other savings bank account. Suppose a person has a, a regular savings bank account in the bank, he cannot come and open BSBD. Or if he opens BSBD, he has to close his savings bank account. So only one savings bank account he can have and that is BSBD. A person having a BSBD account, savings bank account, cannot have any other savings bank account in the same bank. What about other deposits? A person having a BSBD account, basic savings bank deposit account, can he have uh, term deposit? Yes, he can have fixed deposit, he can have recurring deposit, there is no restriction. Only he cannot have any other savings bank account. And normally, no checkbook facility is available to the basic savings bank deposit account. It is for individual banks. Many banks have given, what I have observed is that many banks have given checkbook facility also to this account. It is left to the individual bank's wish. And another very important point is BSBD account. While the no frill account was opened only for people below poverty line, BPL people, which resulted in a stigma being attached to that account, in the case of BSBD account, this is, can be opened by any person, he need not be below poverty line. Any person is entitled to open a BSBD account in the bank. 
anyone can open BSBD account and banks are advised not to impose restrictions like age and income criteria of the individual for opening BSBD account. These are the exact words of Reserve Bank of India. I have given the exact words. Therefore, anyone can open a basic uh, savings bank account. He need not belong to the BPL category. So basically, the BSBD account is opened for ensuring that all the poor people join the mainstream banking so that uh, you know this can result in transfer of uh, subsidies directly to their account which is called DBT direct benefit transfer suppose central government gives uh, some subsidy earlier this used to be paid as cash and uh, people used to you know um, uh, now, if 100 rupees is given as subsidy by the central government, uh, actually only 12 rupees or 20 rupees will reach the poor farmer. The remaining 80 rupees are eaten away on the way by the middlemen and the bureaucrats and the politicians. But here, once these BSBD accounts are opened in large numbers for all the people, the entire subsidy of the central government will reach the account directly. This is called a direct benefit transfer, DBT, which will help immensely the poor people because they will get the entire amount of 100 rupees and there is no um, middleman eating it on the way. The bureaucrats and the politicians cannot eat it on the way. Therefore, this is really very helpful to the poor people. So, only with this purpose, Reserve Bank of India has started the BSBD account for the poor people and now they have made it applicable to anyone who wants to open the account so that the stigma of this poor people account can be removed from it.